Hello and welcome to the English Box. Today we are going to talk about the amazing world of sense verbs. So what is a sense verb? Well, we all have five senses. Taste, what you do with your mouth. Sight, what you do with your eyes. Touch, what you do with your hands and the sensory cells of your skin. Smell, what you do with your nose. And hearing, what you do with your ears. Sense verbs are those verbs that relate to these senses. And the five we are going to begin by looking at are to taste, to look, to feel, to smell, and to sound. So why are these verbs special? Well, there are two reasons why these verbs are special. Number one, unlike in many other languages, sense verbs are used with adjectives and not with adverbs. And number two, many sense verbs can be used with both the simple and the continuous form of the following verb, and the meaning changes slightly. So let's look at point number one. Consider the sentences in front of you. Your new dress looks good. This food tastes delicious. Your new perfume smells fantastic. Radiohead's new song sounds depressing. And this material feels soft to the touch. As you can see, the sense verb is followed by the adjective. Good, not well. Delicious, not deliciously. Fantastic, not fantastically. Depressing, not depressingly, and soft, not softly. So the next question is, why? Well, in English, we assume that we are describing the noun with the adjective and not the verb. So in Spanish, you would say, la comida sabe bien. In German, you would say, das Essen schmeckt gut. But in English, you would say the food tastes good. You would use the adjective. Similarly, you could say the food is good. So just like the verb to be, we use the adjective with sense verbs. If we use the adverb, then the old English joke, my dog has no nose, how does he smell, terrible, simply wouldn't work. So, moving on to point two. With sense verbs, you can use the simple and continuous form, but there's a difference in meaning. Let's consider these sentences in front of you. I saw him beat him up. I saw him beating him up. I heard her sing at the concert. I heard her singing at the concert. I watched him play football yesterday. I watched him playing football yesterday. So in each of the examples, you have simple and continuous forms of the verb. But what's the difference? Well, the simple form suggests you have seen the whole action. I saw him play football. You saw the whole action of him playing football, all the 90 minutes. The continuous form suggests you have only seen some of the action. I saw him playing football. You only saw 10, 20, 30 minutes of the match, and then you went home. So if we look at the examples at the bottom, I saw John fall over, is much more likely because the action is very short. You probably saw the whole action. In two, I heard the birds tweeting. The birds were tweeting before you started listening. The birds were tweeting after you started listening. It's unlikely you heard the whole action. So finally, we can see a diagram of this. I watched Thomas playing football. The red action is shorter than the yellow action. And I watched Thomas play football. Uh, the red action is longer than the yellow action. OK, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, then please subscribe to our channel. 
And if you'd like to see some related videos, then click on the as if or as though and like video. The emotions and feelings video is also vaguely related to this one. And funny English words is very much not related to this one, but you might find it interesting. Okay, thanks again and see you next time. Bye bye.